Hello and welcome to the Arsenal Blueprint. Now, I finally found a name for the channel that I'm happy with because that's what I believe it is. They call it Process, I call it Blueprint. Now, I've got one of my old shirts on today because I made a, a short little video about Edu Gaspar a former Arsenal player, who actually, a lot of people slag Edu off as a player, but he was part of a squad, a winning squad, that won Premier Leagues, FA Cups, you know, failed to deceive in the Champions League, but that was Arsenal. But, but Edu, I used, to, I used to actually prefer him over Gilberto Silva, because, you know, he was left-footed, you know, him and Patrick Vieira were great together. You know, he was just a simple player, but he was good. He, he, technically, he was good. And what? I just rated him. Now, he has the power at Arsenal, right? That when I was a kid, the most important man at Arsenal was David Dean. Without a shadow of a doubt. But apart from George Graham, who was the manager at the time when I started supporting Arsenal. The most important man at the club was, was David Dean. David Dean oversaw Ian Wright coming in to the club, my hero as a kid. Dennis Bergkamp, David Platt, Nicholas Anelka, who we signed for half a million pounds. Two years later, we sold him for 23 million to Real Madrid. That was like, whoa, not a bad bit of business. And with that money, we bought a, a winger for 11.5 mil. We just won the World Cup. Sorry about that. And I wasn't happy about it. All right. Bought him off Juventus. I thought, why are we buying him? An out of sorts winger, you know. Oh. Turns out, you know, we're going to play him up front. And he couldn't hit a barn door to save his life until one afternoon at Adele. He spun on a sixpence from outside the box and curled it into the bottom corner. And he never stopped scoring. And his name was Thierry Henri, baby. Robert Perez, Freddie Jumberg. Canu, Will Tord, Petit, Patrick Vieira. I seen Patrick make his fucking debut. So Campbell for free of Spurs. What a coup. What a coup. You see Arsenal doing that now? Nicking Harry Kane on a free. Imagine that. You know, Spurs are doing bits. They're doing bits. They've just done Richarlison. They got Perisic. People are saying, oh, he's old now. I'm telling you now, mate. Ivan Perisic is a baller, bruv. He's been a baller all his life. He's a winner. He is an absolute winner. I've seen him. He scores volleys, headers. It's a pest, it's technically brilliant. What a sign in, yeah, you know. Always want to see him in the Premier League. Couldn't have gone to a better team. Not, obviously. I'm pissed off that he's gone to Spurs. Yes, Basuma. And that, they got more coming in. Who've Arsenal signed? Um, some Yank goalkeeper. Uh, a new Vieira. Who we've never heard of, a kid, another kid. Gabriel Jesus. Well, have we signed him? Haven't we? We've seen him in the kit and pictures. Someone took a cheeky little shot of him walking around the Emirates with the camera rolling, but it hasn't been announced yet. Why? It's funny, I was watching on the Arsenal uh, website, Edu's welcoming the player in, he's showing them around and that. He goes, this is my office. If you ever need to talk to me, just knock the door, come in. 
So, no, 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 no. I do, I do. Mr. Gaspar, are you in? Mr. Gaspar, are you in? The secretary comes. Sorry, Mr. Gaspar's not around at the moment. Do you know where he is? I think it's a home base sort of sort of out for his barbecue. I know his wife was on the on the phone. Oh, right, okay. We'd be in this afternoon. I doubt it. Mr. Gaspar's very busy with his barbecue. Uh, okay, okay, thank you. Yeah. I was looking up his role. And it's... I have it all in front of me. But basically, right, his role... They're the same role. Technical director of football, I think it is. Right. That, his role... Is the role that the most successful person in recent history, apart from Man City, would be Michael Edwards of Liverpool, right? Great example. I think Chelsea want him at the moment. I've heard rumours. Who wouldn't want this guy? Look what! Look, look how he has helped Liverpool with what players structure. Wages, getting the right man manager in it, just everything perfect. Klopp's won the lot, and he continues. He's won everything. They've won the Champions League, the Premier League, the FA Cup, and the the League Cup. They've won. They've won it all. He's up, he's left Liverpool, so how are Liverpool now going to cope without him? Now, if I was Arsenal, I'd be looking at this guy. Because look at the money Arsenal are hemorrhaged, hemorrhaged under the gas bar already. Three hundred mil, maybe more. Four hundred, and where's it got us? I know it. Scott's in a fake cup. Woo woo woo. Won it 13 fucking times before. We'll be back in the Champions League, mate. Oh, it's the music. Oh, I have the fucking. Oh, I have the team. Do you know how pissed off Arsenal fans are that we aren't in the Champions League anymore? Do you know how pissed off? The older generation are. Because I tell you, I am not having it anymore. I'm not having it. I want to see some quality signings. I want to see some big names through that door. Edu, gas, bar. I've just found an article of about date the demise of Arsenal since David Dean left, and it is we could write a book on it, mate. Is it a coincidence? They said calling it the biggest mistake of the Cronky era. And I, I believe that to be true. It's not about the players on the pitch. It's about getting the right players on the pitch. With that badge on. That is embroidered. Nowadays, it's stuck on them. Like you could peel it off. You can't peel that off. That's embroidered, mate. I hated it that they changed this old cannon. I love that. I love the old cannon. Have a proper look. That is what I fell in love with as a youngster, man. I've had enough of Edu Gaspar. I've had enough of Mikel Arteta. But I try and give him a break. I, you know what? I try and give Arteta a break here. Because this it is not Arteta's fault. 
that he's got Gaspar Edu there. I call him Gaspar because people won't know that we get Edu at home base when he should be in f effing Italy or Spain or Turkey or wherever finding us a striker, a winger, a holding midfielder, a, a flying right back, a left back, we, an attacking midfielder. We need about five more transfers. No, no more kids either. Maybe one youngster. They've got to be ready to go. Not happy, mate. See you later.